And the city of Indianapolis plans to use eminent domain to take control of the former GM stamping plant on the city's west side to make sure it is developed. The city shared this plan in a letter sent to the current owner, Ambrose Property Group. Last week, Ambrose backed out of a plan to redevelop the 103-acre site and plans to sell it. The initial plan called for development of apartments, restaurants, and retail called the Waterside. The letter from the city states, quote, if Ambrose would prefer to avoid the delay and expense of a court process, we would welcome the opportunity to begin negotiating acquisition of the property immediately. An eminent domain allows a public entity to acquire private property for public use with payment or compensation. We have reached out to Ambrose for comment but have not heard back. Ambrose has already sold or given away some of the land it was going to use for the Waterside project. The company donated 10 acres and sold an additional 16 and a half acres to the Indianapolis Zoo. The zoo will use the new 26 acres for parking and converting its current parking lot for new exhibit space. The plans for the new exhibits are still a few years away from becoming reality, but this is the first step of a major expansion for the zoo. We're landlocked. It, it's a really nice place to be as far as close to the downtown. People can walk to the zoo, go to White River State Park and all the attractions, but there's not a lot of room to grow. Room to grow. So we're excited about having this opportunity to have a little bit more space. Palermo said since the now zoo now owns this land. They don't expect the city's talk of eminent domain with Ambrose to have an impact. She said the city has always been supportive of the zoo obtaining more land for parking.